It's just another hill country morning for Chuck Eisler. He's decided on cereal for breakfast and a side of toast with butter and some strawberry jam. <laughs> yep, it was an easy choice to make. Chuck's real challenge came moments before, trying to pick one toaster out of a sea of stainless steel. Well, as a matter of fact, I have a toaster collection. Chuck, I I've got to ask you, why in the world would a person want to collect toasters? <laughs> That's always the very first question that I get, you know. I had one lady say, you're weird, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Are you weird? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I showed my toasters at the cultural center here and I found out that uh, the collectors association, there are a lot of weird people around, so I, I just fit in. Present day toasters have very little character, in my opinion. The early designers of toasters, I think, had a lot of ingenuity, a lot of artistry, uh, a lot of uh, creativity. For Chuck, toaster collecting isn't some half-baked hobby. Even when loafing around the house, he's got to read up on the latest finds. After all, most antique toasters don't just pop up the way his first one did. This was my mother's toaster. This right here was this, the this, one you grew up that's with. That's right. This was made probably 1926. My wife Kay uh, loves to do garage sales. One day she brought home another one very, very similar to this. We set it next to this one and... That was the beginning of a collection. Well, two looked pretty good and then uh, some 25 years later, uh, we have now around 300. 300 toasters. Yes, yes. Chuck spends a lot of dough collecting every type of toaster. Flopper turners, side loaders, top loaders, pop-ups, drop downs, flat beds, and swingers. And wouldn't you know it, toaster collecting is on the rise. Other folks nationwide can't get enough of the greatest invention since sliced bread. There's no one here to dispute me, so I always say I have the largest collection in Texas. There are uh, toasters, toaster collectors that are national, and in fact, there is a National Toasters Association. You don't get together for conventions and show you. They have conventions. I just wish that I could attend one someday. That's that's some some dream to go to the National Toaster Association convention. You got it right. <laughs> well, who wouldn't want to be there? <laughs>